دیگه My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why am I all alone? My God, my God, why is there so much pain and sorrow? My God, my God, why do I grieve and feel terrible? My God, my God, why does COVID continue to affect all of us? My God, my God, why is there war? My God, my God, why is there violence in the streets? My God, my God, Why did my loved one die so early? Or my God, my God, why do I continue going when my loved ones have gone? My God, my God, why don't things work out for me the way I want them to? My God, my God, why do some days feel like there's nothing but red lights and traffic jams? My God, my God, why did that friendship end so horribly? My God, my God, why did that loved one cause me so much harm? These are ways that we have been wounded. These are wounds we carry. These are things we say on certain days. We. We have lows in our lives. It's not all just happy times. And this day of all days is when we can sit with that pain, sit with those wounds. And as we cry out like that, as another frustrating thing happens, you know, my God, my God, why did my car break down today of all days? We bring those pains, those frustrations, those feelings of abandonment, Maybe our resentments, maybe our sorrows, our anger. We bring those to church on this Good Friday. My God, my God, why do we still face racism in America? We bring all that anger, that frustration, that sorrow, that pain, and we bring it to Good Friday. And this is a space where it's brought. And on Good Friday of all days, we bring it here, and we lay it at the foot of the cross, left in a black veil after our Monday, Thursday service last night. And we lay our pains and our wounds and our sorrows and all those emotions, we bring it and we lay it down at the foot of the cross, because on the cross is Jesus, who can sympathize with our pain, who knows abandonment, who knows anger, who knows resentment, who knows frustration, who is executed by empire unjustly. Jesus was innocent and we humans killed him. So we bring those pains, those sorrows, those wounds, and we bring them to Jesus. As a priest, I sit with a lot of people as they go through difficult times, and one thing that uh, frustrates a lot of people is when their loved ones try to be helpful, when friends and family try to say reassuring things and say awful things. And one thing that oftentimes is not helpful is when people say, oh, I know what you're going through, I know how you feel. And the person who's in the midst of sorrow will get a little angry, like, no, you don't. You don't know how. But here we are on this day, bringing our pains to Jesus. And Jesus walks with us. And we say, why, why? My God, my God, why? And Jesus says, I know. I know. And we see the wounds in his hand. Maybe the wound, the hole in his side. The scars in his head from the crown of thorns. And he says, oh, I know. 
God, my God, why? Good Friday gives us this great opportunity to sit with some of those wounds and that pain. Some of us have personalities that would rather skip to the fun part, would rather put a positive spin on everything, rather look on the bright side, and that can be very good and healthy and helpful. And yet today and tomorrow, maybe it's okay to just sit with that pain. Maybe it's okay to sit with that sorrow. Maybe even sit with some of that anger. I like the image our, our bishop told me once. He said, you know, those emotions you have, it's okay to kind of touch it. Because you sit with that anger. Don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it consume you, but reach out and touch it. Whatever your wound is, whatever that pain is, today and tomorrow can be that time where you kind of just reach out and touch that pain. And as you touch it, leave it at the foot of the cross and just sit there at the foot of the cross. And there's Jesus up suffering, and you're touching your suffering. And I know Sunday's coming, it's going to be glorious, it's going to be great. But for now, maybe we just sit with that pain. We sit with that sorrow and all those wounds that we have. And as we sit there, we can also say, my God, my God, why did I hurt that person? My God, my God, why did I say that hurtful thing that ruined that friendship, that ruined that this, that ruined this, that harmed this? My God, my God, why did I do something so awful that I didn't want to do and I hurt someone that I didn't want to hurt? We lay those feelings and those pains and those sorrows and those shame that we hold and we also bring that to the feet of Jesus. Jesus is there saying, I know. I know. And he does. Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, these aren't happy uh, services that we sit with this pain and this sorrow. Sit with our wounds. We bring them and we lay them at the feet of Jesus. And it's also been nice last night and today to sit in the silence. We don't have the music at these services and there's something beautiful with all the noise in our lives that are constantly going on to just sit in silence. And so before the service continues, let's kind of think about some deep wounds that we have that we've always wanted to let go of. Think about a deep wound maybe you're going through right now or maybe that you've had in the past and, and it still kind of tugs at you at times. You know, those, those days when everything starts to go wrong and then you're like, and so and so wronged me 20 years ago and for some reason that comes up. Let's spend a little time just sitting with it. Let's touch that pain and maybe offering it up at the foot of the cross can bring some kind of healing. But for now, let's just sit with that before we move on to anything else. It's Good Friday. It's the day when they crucified our Lord. It's an old rugged cross. It's painful. It's hard. And it's where they crucified our Savior. And he knows our pain and he knows our sorrow. So let's sit in silence. 